Hello YouTube, hope you're having a beautiful day. Let's play some 10 minute rapid chess. I'm playing as black against my opponent from the USA, rated roughly the same. So since I'm playing black and they elected to play E4, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try a little Latvian Gambit once again. Let's see how that goes. And first things first, make sure I don't auto resign the game by waiting too long to make the first move. So in the Latvian Gambit, uh, once black plays this move, which is you know the exact move they play, thank you for being so cooperative. I then play um, f4, f5, sorry. So let's try it. Now I need to learn more of this theory. This is all I know so far, but let's see. Okay, what's a, what's a good next line here? Let's see. Um, white's third move is the question. So if knight captures, no knight didn't capture, bc4. Uh, I didn't mess this up, did I? E captures f5, here we go. White's e, e captures f5 followed by e4. e4 is the next move I should be followed with. Here we go, there we go. Okay, and now I'll stop cheating. So wanted to get a, one move deeper into the gambit. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So the queen comes here. This is kind of a natural move. Oof, what do I do now? What have I gotten myself into here? How about we just defend the pawn? Oh, I like that, that's nice. Good, solid development. Um, what do I do now? So once again, threatening stuff. Can I move this bishop anywhere that causes another threat? I can come here for the check, but then they move out of the way. And then, yeah, once again, this pawn, uh, this pawn will fall. But they have a doubled pawn here. Um, is there any other moves that make sense for me to do here? Let's not think too hard about this. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Don't didn't like that pin. Still don't like that pin. Now they can capture any which way they like. That's weak. Let's see if they uh, they missed that in the uh, order of moves here. And they did. So now we take and laugh at them. No, we don't laugh at them. That's unsports person like. We nod silently in approval at our at our genius. That's what we do here. Okay. Um, free Rook. What's this threatening? Nothing. Immediately. Um, take it. Then we'll bring you back. Okay, that's something. That's definitely not nothing. Um, oh, but that's another free piece, right? Am I missing something here? Okay. Now I have check here as well to win another piece. Wow. Okay. There you go. Latvian Gambit won me the game. No, Latvian Gambit didn't win me the game, but led to an interesting game at least. I mean, so what was a critical error here for the opponent? Um, yeah, not noticing this attack, right? Again, a little bit of tunnel vision here. Happens to all of us, but anyway. Now, I think you guys will get a raw deal if that's all we did today, so let's play a second one. Oh, and I could go for another Latvian Gambit here. Maybe this will be an instructional day for you guys. Just look at what I play in this next game and play the opposite. That's usually uh, very instructional for my friends. Here we go. Another trip to Latvia. Frequent flyer points abound today. So once again, this kind of mainline situation worked out well for me last time. If they capture this, okay, there we go. So they capture the other uh, piece instead. Now I get to cheat again, because this is a new game. So what would be the next move here? If uh, basically, if knight captures on e5, which seems like the most logical move. After that, the usual queen f6. Queen f6 as usual. Let's go.
Will they just go back? White chooses between d4 and d6. d4. d4, d4, d6. Okay, there you go. d4, d6. That would be like the main line. And then they have another option. Yeah, okay. Let's see. So if this happens, then, then this move. Okay, there we go. D4, D6. All right. Closing the phone now. No more cheat codes for this game. Next up, we're grinding it the real way. If they move back, you know, this pawn, capturing this pawn seems nice. I can lock in a nice center as well. And for the new players, I'm not actually using cheat codes per se, but I mean... This is all well-known opening theory, just not well-known by me. So I, I don't know. I guess I, I always feel a little, a little dirty when I uh, when I do this. Um, this pawn is safe. Let's capture this guy. Get a nice center going. And now king's wide open. So let's uh, let's try to protect that. Bring knight in here. If it gets kicked, the knight can just uh, okay. Knight here. If it gets kicked, it can go here. So this pawn's being threatened. Uh, do I do anything about it? What can I do about it immediately? I can do this. I like that. That also helps with my plan. So it defends the pawn and at the same time gets me one step closer to castling long. Seems like what I want to do. Okay, what, does that do anything? This gets captured. Um, let's go here now because then if they push the pawn I come in here threaten this uh, rather pesky bishop do I still want to just go in there immediately no I can't go in there immediately I would lose it silly me let's go for the long castle now okay now Gonna want to start push, pushing. How about something like this to then threaten this? Simple, you know, nothing too complicated. It'll provoke. Well, it won't provoke that. It'll provoke this immediately or rook here, I think, just to not lose the exchange. To capture this pawn in exchange, I'm, I'm fine with that. Also, this pawn can't be captured, captured actually, it's only attacked once. Rook here is also a good idea, but I want to start activating these pieces as well. This now makes sense. Okay, so now, so this they're threatening to win a pawn. Danger levels though. Come in here, threaten mate. And then they need to react to that. So their reaction would be this, and then when the exchange and then come back and win a pawn too, and their king side is shattered after, after that. Let's do this. Okay, that's something. Now, what if we take? What did they take with, right? Queen, under attack. This does not work anymore. This does not work anymore. Th this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Actually, this does work because it's defended by the queen. This piece captures, captures, captures. I can cover up with the, that guy. So let's go for it. Captures, obviously captures, and then if they try to come in here, that square is not defended, so I take. <laughs> um, and now, so after this exchange, or if this piece moves away, then the next play for me will be pushing. Gary and Harry. Gary and Harry up the board for the win. And if they move here or something, I'm happy to, you know, Tuck my king, queen away. Even here is okay. 
Yeah, okay, so here I don't actually give up a pawn. I end up with an open file towards the king. And there's no other pieces coming into play with that move. No. Let's go for this, defend it twice. I don't mind trading queens here. This is an idea, so I gotta watch for that. And I mean, if they, this queen, okay, the queen moved out of the way. This is no longer that much of a threat because I have this play here, but now where do I move my queen? Uh, here leads to discoveries from this knight. Here is covered, something like here. And try to get this bishop in here. You can come in here with effect. You can come in here and try to trade, but I like the trades. And also if this, then I can tuck in here. There's a few things, but then this, but you're covering. Okay, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here and try 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 to uh, to get an attack going. This and this. Oh now ha ah, just hung a piece. Just hung a piece. Ah, that sucks. Oh well. Okay. Oh well. Oh okay so. I'm hoping for this and this still to have some counterplay. You're defended, you're defended, you're defended. If they play this themselves, that takes that plan away, then I can come in here. Okay, so they're now causing me all sorts of grief. This will then give them that square, but I just I want to get this move in, provoke some more weaknesses, and then go from there. And also develop. I need to develop these guys. We have mirrored, or yeah, I guess mirrored un undeveloped pieces. Okay, so up, and that. It's defended now, so no real threats, but at least it'll be an active bishop. Then something like knight here, bring the rook into the, play, into the game. And they haven't started pushing yet towards my king's side. They will soon. They'll pick. They'll pick up the pace. They'll. Uh, they'll be fast enough. But one habit I'm trying to get out of is like kind of automatically um, trading pieces. Let's go here. That pins the. Oh, it doesn't pin the, it doesn't pin the knight because the knight captures with check but theoretically it would pin the knight because there's a mate thread here but they they have a swoosh and sue right i'll just take and if they don't notice that then next move is going to be prophylactic here okay they didn't notice that if i take They'll take with the queen, okay. I have this. Hitting that. Ah, but they have it discovered. Yeah, there you go. End of the game. That's it. Uh, down a queen and a bishop, so this is resignable. You gotta know when to fold them, my friends. So, GG to my opponents, well played. Um, hope you guys got something out of that bonus second game today, a win and a loss. A win and a loss here. Uh, you know, silly thing that, that lost me the game, really, you know. Blunder and a bishop. And after that, you know, your heart gives out a little bit, right? You hope for counterplay, but you're down a piece for nothing, no no, uh, no compensation. So it, it hurts you mentally. You got, you got to try to get over that, but we're human, right? 
Uh, anyway, after that, next blunder. I mean, not noticing that this is not really blocking the uh, the knight capturing is one thing, and then they just they just layer on the, the threat right with the uh, the queen taken with the discover the setting up the discovery on my queen. Um, instead, when this move happened, I mean, it sucks, but I probably should have just traded. You know, it's hard, it's hard to, and that, that's something I, uh, I grapple with, right? Principle tells you not to trade when you're down material, but if your opponent finds ways to force trades, you know, which side of your brain do you listen to? The side that's telling you don't trade or the side that's telling you, um, you know, if you don't trade here, you're just in, in a worse position, right? So it's, uh, that's tough to calculate, but hey, that's why we have our whole lives to learn this beautiful game, so... If you got something from this, I, you know, I, I, um, I would be very happy if you took something away from this video. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to YouTube. I post at least four times a day to TikTok. Link to the TikTok is in the bio. Uh, thanks for dropping by and be kind to one another. Take care.